there's going to be two types of messages. There's going to be a reset message, which is when you hit the X, it's going to uh, send the reset message. And when it re when the player receives the reset message, what do we need to do? Well, we'll stop the other scripts in the sprite. We'll switch the costume back to the original, go to the original position and point in the original direction. So this is what will reset the player. Later on, the beetle is going to send a got player message. And the got player message, I don't want to reset the position when the beetle jumps on the player and gets them, but I do want to stop the other scripts in the sprite so the player doesn't continue to move around. Uh, you could also switch, maybe just switch the costume back to the ship in case it had the thrust costume on at the time. The other thing we need are variables so that the bug, no, the beetle, knows where the player is. And the way we do that, now, we already had a when green flag clicked block. I'm not going to show it to you because it's complete. I'm hiding it off the screen intentionally, but that's the one down here that switches costumes and then responds to the WASD keys, moves, turns, changes costume. Separately, I have when the green flag is clicked, what it's going to do, each of these are going to set one at a time the values of the variables and this is very important so this first one player x is this first player x right here and it sets that variable that number to the x position and the way we do that you click on variables and you can set drag it over here player x2 now how did i get x position up here motion if you scroll down there's x y and direction and the reason I do it in the forever loop is so it does it every, uh, does it over and over and over again, so all these variables get updated. So it sets the player x to x position, sets the player y to y position, sets the player direction to direction, and then I put it right up here. So when we click the start button, it sets all these values, and you should see right here the player x is increasing as it's moving. Player direction is still 90, but now as I rotate, you'll see the player direction changes. And if I go up or down, you'll see the player Y change too. You'll notice the decimals get a little crazy. That's not very important for us right now. It's really just the first, the whole numbers are really what's important. Don't worry so much about the decimals. If you look down here, you don't even see the decimals anyways. This will allow the beetle to chase. And that's what we're going to look at next.